Hello, I am Ines Alea from TolerateDCinematics.com. I'm a hologram. It's pretty cool, right? I know. So, this will be an upcoming tutorial. Stay tuned. Hello, I am Ian Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com. You just saw the intro and that's what we are going to create today. We're going to create a hologram in Adobe After Effects. So right here I have the footage and the background also including a uh, glitch pack that you can actually buy on our website. If you're not feeling like buying or you don't have the funds to do so, we also provide a free uh, sample pack of these uh, just including less glitch uh, textures. So these are all images that we're going to use in, uh, in this tutorial. But you can definitely get them for free as well on the freebies page uh, of our website. All the links will be in the description so you can follow along with this tutorial uh, with the correct uh, files. So I have my background. I will actually first create a new composition, make this full HD. Um, well, actually I'm going to make the height 800 so it's really widescreen with an aspect ratio of 2.4. So I will rename this to main comp, make it 10 seconds long or so. Uh, well, actually I'm going to make it a little bit longer so I can actually trim it down afterwards. It's uh, 30 seconds click OK. I will drag in my background and I will make it will fit, well actually it fits immediately. Uh, you can resize it or whatever you want to and then I will actually take my footage and put it in a new composition and then I will uh, mask my background out. So I'm here against a green screen, not ideally because I don't have a lot of space. You can still see here a little bit of shadows, but overall it's a great green screen so the key will go uh, fairly easy. So I'll uh, key out here uh, the, the sides of my green screen. Also, uh, if you're making a hologram, it's not a big of a deal if uh, you don't key it too good because yeah, uh, holograms have less quality in them so you can get away with a lot of things. So if you have a bad green screen or you want to rotoscope yourself, uh, you can definitely do that. Uh, it's not going to be a very big deal. Okay, so I masked myself out. Now we are going to uh, remove the background here. So I will click on my footage, go to effect keying. Uh, so that's right over here. I'll go to key light 1.2 and I will select my green background. So I will try to find a mid kind of color range because as you can see my green screen isn't perfect. I have some shadows here. Uh, you should uh, take care of that before you actually shoot. But yeah, my room is very small so I didn't have space to actually leave uh, to actually stand a little bit more in front of it. Uh, so here we have uh, my green screen. The first thing that I will do is right click composition settings and actually change my color of my composition settings to a gray color. I will click OK and OK and that way I can easily see everything against the background that is not OK. Um, but for the uh, very fix I will actually go to my key light and change this to a source alpha here. Um, well actually screen mat. Okay. So we have a screen mat. I will uh, increase my gain here. So you will see that uh, the black is going to be appearing more black. I will increase with my arrows one by one until I don't see any uh, spill anymore. And then I will go to my screen balance and see what we can do here. So maybe if we lower that down, um, the whites are going to fill in a little bit better. But overall, this is looking pretty nice. Also, for a hologram, it's not that important to make a perfect green screen. It's always going to help you because then you have the full control of what you want to achieve. Um, but bad quality video actually uh, consists a little bit in the uh, holograph world because the, the visual aspect isn't perfect. So I'll go to final result here and now I will go and add an effect color correction tint so it's black and white and then I'll go to effect and color correction again and choose curves and now we're going to add a little bit of contrast here so we'll increase and make a nice S here like so. And once we have that, we can actually jump back into our main comp and place that composition that we just made um, above our background here. I'm going to scale it down, so press S on the keyboard and scale it down and dragging this number. And we're going to uh, position myself right over here. Um, I'm also going to pick my background and actually uh, scroll it down a little bit like so and put myself right over here. Um, maybe scale it down even more. Um, well, yeah, there we go. Okay, then I will go to uh, the rectangle tool and actually select the bottom part of my body here and change the mask to a subtract mode because right now it wasn't add. We are going to subtract it, 
press F on the keyboard to feather your mask and just increase this and now we're, uh, we're going to see my body fade out so we can still move our mask a little bit more down if we want to and just play around with that so I'm kinda satisfied with what we have right here I'm going to save my document and I'm going to duplicate um, my hologram here I'm also going to toggle off the audio so if I do playbacks that I don't get any audio on my first layer I will go to effect noise and grain and add a lot of noise so add noise 100% and then on my second one I'm actually going mode screen so now um, I'm going to appear a little bit brighter and my background is coming true for the normal layer so this layer I'm going to press T on the keyboard and just lower my settings to something like 75 um, or maybe even 60 and that way the background is going to come true um, my normal but if we wouldn't have normal it's going to be very very uh, transparent so that's uh, why I'm using this uh, maybe even 50 we could use uh, right there okay so I'm going back to my screen mode layer and I'm going to add an effect color correction and again I'm going to choose tint or curves uh, depending on whatever you want actually let's go for curves right now then I will go to the blue channel so if we click over here we can go into the colors uh, separately I'm going to increase the blue channel here and then go to the red channel and just decrease that so we get this nice tones here and maybe play around with the green as well and just uh, put an S curve in there we can play a little bit with the contrast and the colors here and there we go so that's looking pretty nice um, then I'm going to affect and add some stylized glow uh, so right here I'm going to increase uh, well actually I'll leave it as it is right now and just decrease the intensity to something like 0.1 uh, just make sure if we go to the project manager that we change the 8 bit to uh, 30 bit uh, 30, uh, 32 um, that way we're going to get nicer colors out of our uh, glow. Duplicate that glow and I'm going to increase uh, the radius to uh, 150 or so. Maybe even 250. Um, this is looking okay. And just uh, try to decrease this to 0.1. Then duplicate that again. And we're going to increase this number to 60, uh, 650. And there we go. We now have a nice glue around our video uh, footage here. So let's see, maybe we can increase the uh, wide angle here and also just lower the threshold here so everything is actually glowing. There we go. And now we're going to lower the intensity uh, something like this here. We're actually going to do that for all of these, lower the threshold here and then decrease the intensity just a little bit here okay so this is looking pretty nice um, okay let's go on with the next step what I will do is create a new composition and rename this to displacement um, I'm going to click OK here and then I'm going to add a new noise solid well just a new solid and I'm going to uh, rename this to displacement map for example and I'm going to add a fractal noise here so fractal noise search for it and apply that to our solid then I'm going to change the type to um, block and I'm also going to change my complexity to one so we only have two colors black or white then go into the transform and use the uh, uncheck uniform scaling and now we just want these lines uh, like Venetian lines uh, there we go so we're going to lower this uh, height and just increase uh, the width with an insane amount so our complete screen is like so uh, go maybe like 10 here okay um, now what I will do is actually animate our evolution here so time times 500 or maybe even a thousand so uh, it animates really um, yeah like this here okay so that looks great um, that's actually all we need for the displacement map once you have done that we can go into our hologram footage so that's the original footage that we uh, keyed out and there I'm going to import that composition this is for our displacement we're going to add a new adjustment layer rename this to displacement um, yeah mistake there but doesn't matter and we're going to add a displacement map I'm going to apply that to my adjustment layer and then we're going to use a displace um, as a displacement map here we're going to use our second layer which is this one actually it's nice to use different names here so uh, you don't get wrong here 
and what that is going to do um, yeah everything that is white is going to displace everything that's black is also going to displace the other way um, but everything that is gray isn't going to displace and that uh, if we are going to increase this number you're going to see that we are getting this kind of displacement which is pretty cool and actually if you play around right here in this composition if you want different results uh, you're going to get that right here so also if we play this you're going to see that it's animating because we have animated the evolution there so uh, what you want to do now is just go to the beginning uh, click on the stopwatches for both of these max horizontal and vertical and then go one frame well I'm going to press U on the keyboard so we can actually see our keyframes zoom in a little bit and I'm going to decrease this to like a lower number go uh, one frame again 50 again 0 and just play around with this maybe this one to 10 or so maybe 50 ones and yeah just keep on doing this and if we're going to play this back we're going to get this kind of animation and now we can just copy this maybe ver do some variations of this but I'm just going to copy this uh, because of the 4D tutorial um, but if you're going to take more time to actually do this right it's going to be a lot better of course so I'm going to save it again uh, go to main comp and I'm going to add uh, well actually I'm not going to do anything because um, we have just added it um, the this composition inside so now we get something like this as you can see right here which is pretty cool what I'm also going to do is I'm going to duplicate this uh, again I'm going to put it on top and I'm going to rename this to glitch alpha and then I'm going to add some of my glitch packs here so uh, this is the complete glitch pack if you want it uh, you can buy it on our website if you want a free alternative we also have uh, free glitch textures uh, which you can download on the freebies uh, on the freebies page on our website um, I will all link this below so you can uh, definitely check that out and actually if you want to buy it um, or if you want to buy anything on our website currently it's Black Friday's uh, Black Friday sales uh, so you get some percentage off definitely check out the website so um, I'm going to click on all of my images um, because I all really have a lot so uh, like 75 here and actually that's it so the pack just contains a lot of glitch images which you can use in design motion graphics but you still have to animate them yourself so I'm going to drag this into a new composition and here I'm going to check single composition use uh, well everything from the images here still duration just one second um, and then I'm going to sequence layers and then that's all I'm going to do click OK and that way I will get something like this and now if I'm going to play this you're going to see that it's uh, jittering and it's actually a glitch animation right now so that's really cool um, now I'm going back to my main composition and just drag in this glitch composition on top uh, here or actually below the glitch alpha you can see that it doesn't last as long as everything on my timeline well on my timeline here so what I will do is I uh, just go right click um, or yeah right click time time remapping then hold alt and click on the stopwatch right here then click on the arrow and we're going to property loop out and what's this uh, what this is this going to do if it's if we just extend this here as long as we want to every time it reaches the end it's just going to start over again and just play it and it's actually just a loop um, so loop out is what you want uh, under yeah property so okay we have the glitch I'm going to save again just to make sure we can actually uh, also scale this down because it's actually quite big um, a lot of well these are quite high resolution and then I'm also going to select track mat alpha and now it should actually uh, just show this part here so we can actually make this even smaller um, because we only need this part if you know what I'm trying to say here and there we go and now we have animated glitch on top of myself now we can play with the blending mode if you don't see the blending mode just toggle the switches right here and go for add or just play around with these uh, maybe screen color dodge might look cool or classic color dodge also um, I'm going to stick with classic color dodge and press T on the keyboard to lower my past it's something like uh, 50 and actually uh, we're almost there so for a hologram I think um, that's what we need so I'm actually also going to lower my resolution right here so it's going to play back a little bit easier and if we're going to play this here this is looking pretty cool 
okay very a lot of distortion um, but then it's over here okay there we go now we just have some glitch here and of course this is a little bit exaggerated so what you can do is play with the opacity here move here and just uh, change it to 10 and just keep it like this for a while uh, like when when it's starting up you do a lot of glitch a lot of displacement and then uh, once you're up it's okay it's a fairly uh, low number of displacements uh, but there you can see the hologram so you can do crazy stuff with this uh, it's up to you and then lastly what I've done is actually go and add a new null uh, well and just a new solid here click OK and put it on top here rename it to lens uh, flare and then I just added a uh, generate lens flare. Um, generate lens flare. There we go. Changes my lens type to a uh, 150, uh, 105 millimeter prime. And I'm changing the mode here to screen. And then also lower my brightness here and just put it on the bottom here. Okay. And then. I changed the uh, color correction curves and just added some blue colors just like we did for um, and the reds I'm taking these away and just like we did for yeah um, my hologram itself lower the brightness play with the brightness and uh, what you can actually do is also make a jitter brightness so alt click on the stopwatch here and just write wiggle uh, open parentheses um, like maybe 20 comma um, 25 and what is going to do is 20 times a second so that's really fi uh, fast it's going to move around 25 percent so now we have a, a very big flicker which is maybe a little bit too much so maybe five I bet that way you can really get some cool things so maybe 10 here just play around with these numbers and you're going to see different results so maybe this is a little bit too fast so five comma five will be okay Okay, so play around with it, also a lot of fun. Um, then lastly, what I've done is actually created a new solid, and this is going to be my beam, for example. Um, and then I will just add some noise here, so go to effect, noise and grain, and add some noise, and just increase this number to 100%. Um, I know I'm going fast here, but yeah, for those that uh, don't, can't follow, just uh, pause it, go back and forth, and those who can, yeah, awesome. And go to blur and sharpen and add a radial blur and here we're going to change this to a high resolution well best quality and a zoom here um, then I'm going to change my screen overlay to also classic color dodge and just move my center right over here maybe and actually my lens flare can be a little bit over here okay and for my noise I'm also going to uncheck color noise there we go so just increase this number until you're satisfied uh, so maybe 50 yeah 50 is actually okay and what I've done then is just uh, pick my pen tool and just um, design something like this so it's beaming up like so just close it and there we go so uh, if we're going to press F on the keyboard we can actually feather this a little bit uh, maybe press T on the keyboard to lower the opacity a little bit and maybe also add a curves like we always, uh, always have done so add some blue color to that and yeah play around with that and yeah that's how you kinda get uh, what we're trying to achieve here uh, maybe lower the opacity even more because it's quite exaggerated here uh, even for the lens flare, I think I'm going to lower this lens flare a little bit. But yeah, um, that's that's basically it. What you can do finally is add a LUT uh, from our website. Uh, or you can just color grade your scene. So I'm going to add a LUT here. Uh, LUT. And I'm going to search LUT loader. Um, LUT buddy or just apply color LUT. There we go. And I'm going to pick something like um, maybe Blockbuster here. And then just... Uh, lower the intensity of my yeah, opacity here so there we go um, actually I want something more blue maybe teal shadows
Okay, yeah, I like that. Uh, so that's it. So um, also, uh, what I will do finally is just lower the brightness a little bit on my face here uh, and the curves because I think my face is overexposed in the final results. So lower this, go back. There we go. So this is a little bit better. And yeah, that's how to create a hologram in After Effects. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. So if you have created this hologram as well, be sure to leave a link in the comments below so I can check it out. Thank you so much and goodbye.